Yeah, I agree with all of you. Uh, what we are trying to do is something very different from what you have heard so far from the five different pitches. We are basically on the ground. We are in the sports field. Uh, our brand name is Athletics. What we are actually trying to do is, you know, there is India's private sports club market, which is uh, highly, highly fragmented. In the sense, uh, you know, there are there are actually about uh, uh, probably about ten thousand sports clubs in India, uh, which are yeah, there are actually about ten thousand sports clubs in India. which are all uh, you know is mostly single owner sports clubs in the sense uh, you know they are all run under a proprietorship model uh, uh, you know there is a single guy who is actually sitting opening the sports club early in the morning at 6 o'clock in the morning and actually runs it till about 10 o'clock in the night so you know that is that is how the sports clubs are if i give you the market basically about you know about 70 80% of them are in the top 15 metros probably bangalore itself has about uh, you know about 1000 uh, sports clubs out of which probably 600 700 are badminton clubs and the rest of them are basically you know volleyball uh, and such other things so uh, as you know we as we look into the sports club market it's basically single owner or two three partners Uh, south india accounts for about 30 35% of the clubs which bangalore about 1000 probably hyderabad about 700 800 chennai about 700 800 kind of a thing and they all have average ambience and very average standards what we are actually looking at is the problem is basically we look at the life of the club owner in the sense you know like where exactly is the market opportunity we look at it like this there is a single guy or probably two three guys who are running the club they are tied down the whole day and uh, you know they be obviously lack professional management and they also lack marketing skills because each club is a very small fragmented unit of the you know the bigger market which is uh, available in each of the cities so they are mostly dependent on uh, you know booking apps like play or khelo more and there are you know there are the book my shows of sports clubs so they are actually dependent on that for sales and obviously since they are actually you know dependent on these apps they actually lack pricing power and they also lack a lot of networking within the sports community like uh, you know trying to get the uh, uh, coaches kind of a thing you know trying to you know there are two there are two segments to the uh, to each of these sports club in the sense there is a coaching market which is actually there which is primarily between uh, you know children between 5 to 18 age group and there is also a leisure play market Uh, leisure play market is in the sense like anybody can become a member of the club play for probably an hour a day or you know five hours a week or something like that he can take monthly memberships or something like that or he can i and you can actually book a slot through playo or khelo more and we just go and play in whichever club that we want so there are two different kinds of markets in this and uh, you know this uh, individual sports club uh, owners are unable to actually cater to any of these markets in a significant manner uh, that's primarily because they lack first of all they lack the contacts with the you know coaches they lack the uh, marketing skills and they are you know mostly dependent completely on uh, you know this uh, uh, these mobile apps for booking so what does athletics want to do first of all we see a huge aggregation possibility in this sports club private sports club market just the way oyo has probably aggregated the, the smaller hotels and their aggregation models which are actually available in india which are successful across uh, many many so we are looking at the at uh, basically we are looking at the aggregation model and then we are also looking at a hyper selling uh, uh, you know strategy uh, hyper selling strategy actually means that uh, one good thing about the sports clubs is the all the customers who play in these sports clubs they actually come from within a probably a kilometer or a 2 kilometers radius uh, like suppose if i am in jp nagar of bangalore uh, i don't go to whitefield and play you know i will obviously look for a sports club which is closer to my place uh, you know that's how it works so what we actually want to do is basically aggregate the sports clubs and then uh, there are two different markets as i said there is a coaching market there is a leisure play market and then you know through our network we bring reputed coaches for uh, uh, you know coaching Uh, and also you know we sell memberships because it's again hyper local selling whatever we need to do we can actually do it on the field rather than 
you know, go in a big way for marketing and all that. We can actually do hyper local selling in that one or two kilometers uh, uh, distance. And we actually try to increase both uh, the coaching revenues as well as the membership revenues.